okay, Paul, you've um, acted quite quickly. Three signings already, and we're we're still in May. It's a little bit unheard of here at, at Hereford. Just um, talk through the each of the signings. Yeah, listen, I had to. Listen, I want to act quickly. I want to get a team in as, as listen. I'm saying as quick as I possibly can, but that's not me rushing into anything. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we'll start from Ollie. Ollie's the fullback who's big, athletic, really good on the ball, technically good, uh, versatile as well, can play centre half. Sat down with him a couple of weeks ago, spoke to him many times since, watched him loads. Uh, obviously, I don't know him that well as a person, but I know people that have played with him, uh, which I did say from the very start if I don't know someone, I know someone that will know him. So, yeah, really looking forward to working with him, especially obviously being a fullback as well. Still got got loads to learn like everyone does at this level but uh, yeah so really happy with that one big physical lad in a tough com uncompromising league then we've got Lasana who obviously is very close with Oli the two of them played together at, at Bala uh, and that wasn't listen that wasn't a that wasn't meant to be it was it was a it wasn't a coincidence if you know what I mean it was just Lasana I really liked and Oli I really liked it was nothing to do with them playing with each other on the same team or whatever, whatever else people think but Lasana is one of those players that will get the fans off their seat. He's, I'm not saying he'll go meet five, ten players, but he'll he'll go and press people's reactions off the ball. Are brilliant for a front player. He will work extremely hard. He's got everything that I, listen. All the players that I identify have got everything that I ask for: the character, desire, and hard work. And obviously, Oreo is the one that I think quite a lot of people got excited about. Uh, listen, I think it speaks volumes of, of Oreo that the former club that he was at, the chairman's come out and, and obviously spoke really highly of him. Someone that I've I've identified really early on, uh, before I'd officially started, when, when I knew I was getting a job, I knew he was one that I tried to get. I'll be honest, I didn't think I could get him, so that's extremely pleasing that I managed to do that. I know for a fact he, he was offered full-time roles, uh, but again, that's credit to him that he wants to come to a club that, that he thinks is the progression for him. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously look after him here and and I'm excited to see them all in action, but uh, that's where we're at with those three. There's so much, so much going on, so much going on. I've went through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of players. I'll continue to go through them all. Again, I'm not in a rush to, to just sign anyone. It's got to be the right player that fits the way I want to play. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really busy, but that's where we're at. And you, you were talking earlier about maybe your next couple of signings might be a bit more experienced and, and add that to the squad as well. Yeah, listen, I'm not, I'm not silly. I know... Listen, Lasana's 27, 28, whatever he is, and I know Ollie and Oru are young lads, but they're young lads in the sense of age, but they've played in the in the men's league for the last couple of seasons, so I'm not worried about age at all in terms of that. Uh, listen, I, I want to get experience in the team. I'm well on talking to a lot of experienced players, but listen, I've been there myself. Experienced players will, will try and buy a bit of time to get more money, first and foremost, because that's just how they work. But I did say the other day when, when we'd signed, I think it was Oru, I don't want this club being the retirement fund. I feel as if it's been labelled the last couple of years, uh, and that won't happen while I'm at the club. So I'm continuing to speak to the experienced lads, lads that I know, lads that I trust, and I know that are coming for the right reasons. There might be a bit of patience needed from from us on with regards to the experienced ones. Yeah, of course, and just to touch on that, listen, the experience, as I said, the experienced ones will, will try and drag it out a bit. They'll try and drag the deals in, which is fine, and, I'm, and, I, and I've got no problem with that. I know everyone's desperate for a striker. But strikers are another one that's they're difficult to come by. There's uh, well, I'm saying they're difficult to come by, but again, they'll take more time. Everyone wants a striker. Everyone wants. I've always said there's a difference between a striker and a striker that can score goals. You might have a striker that wants to run channels and and, and drags defenders all over the place to open the pitch up for everybody else. But we want a striker that's going to score goals. It's got a proven track record. I've spoke to a good number. Some, I'll be honest, that I've that that won't be here, uh, that I'd have loved to have got in, but just with finances and stuff like that, and, and offers a full-time foot. Well, that's a difficult thing, a lot of them who are proven goal scorers from last year, if you scored 15, 20 goals last year across either the South or the, the North League, there's going to be full-time teams like that, and it's difficult to compete with that. So, uh, But listen, we're going through all the leagues, we're going through all the players, and, and I'm well on, on track, again, with a striker, with experience, but it might take a bit of time. A few weeks into the role now, are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm loving it, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Listen, there's, there's worse things in life, there's far worse things in life, uh, 
even worse than dealing with agents, but listen, that's that's life. But no, listen, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, I'm loving it, I'm, I'm extremely busy, that's that's a good thing. I know for a fact that maybe five, six weeks' time it will calm down. I've also spoke to a lot of experienced managers, this, especially with the, the wholesale changes I made, it's going to be full on for the next six, eight weeks, which, which I'm fine with. Uh, it's just tidying up all the other things like training venues and, and backroom staff and, and just stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Season ticket sales are going really well, closing in on the 400 mark. Um, I know you just wanted to say a thank you to the fans. Yeah, listen, that's ultra. To, to all the all the fans that are going to be watching this, the first thing I usually try and sign a players is this place. So if we can get as many in this this stadium as we possibly can, then then a better caliber player I can get in. Uh, so far, so good. The, the reaction's been brilliant, especially. I think the fans' forum was really refreshing for for myself and for for supporters as well because I knew I knew there would be a lot of bit of worry that I hadn't managed before and did I know the level and I think that what they've seen is exactly what they're going to get on the pitch, just pure honesty and, and hard work, a bit of character, a bit of desire and, and I'm hoping, well I know for a fact I'll get that in return but if I can get that two or three times the amount of what we've got right now then, then listen, we'll be delighted.